Sure. So <clears throat> I'll, I'll go all the way back to high school because I went to this wonderful high school that um, was, it's kind of an experiential learning high school called Fountain Valley School. And it turns out half the Grateful Dead went there and kind of an artistic school, a little bit of a different place. But I I actually think I got a better education in high school than I did in college. I mean, I, they really, they taught the classics, they taught the foundations of writing. I got a very good kind of classic education in a sort of unclassical environment um, and went on from there to Tufts University. And it was really at Tufts that I, I started developing an interest in, in the things that I write about because I could, for the first time, really see the way the sort of sexual revolution was playing out in a not so great way. Um, went on from Tufts to the Beckett Fund for Religious Liberty, where I worked for many years. And then I was fortunate enough to get a Robert Novak Journalism uh, Fellowship. And um, that gave me the chance to sort of off-ramp from an office job into full-time writing. And actually, it was the project that I proposed for that fellowship that ended up becoming what later was my book. And so now I work... I, I do a lot of writing. I work, my sort of main work, though, is with an organization called the Catholic Association. And that came about uh, in the wake of the Obama administration's Health and Human Services mandate, which led to a, a really big religious liberty lawsuit. And so I was brought on to basically be um, a, a woman making the argument, a young woman sort of making the arguments opposite of someone like Sandra Fluke for for religious liberty. And it's a work that I've continued doing and really enjoy.